Boom. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says when you shoot an animal. You don't sleep at night. It's different until you have your hands on that animal. The choice begins now. No matter the weapon, no matter the season, the choice is simple. Just hunt. Featuring North America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicky. And the posse. This week on The Choice, well, we're season's over. We're pretty depressed, but we are playing Cabela's Big Game Adventures on our we get well on RJ's. We it's game. on RJ's. RJ's at school, so we've kind of hijacked the television. You just missed an elk. Quiet. Well, we're heading up to Adrenaline Outfitters in central Manitoba. Our posse yeah. actually owns Adrenaline. Yeah, Russ, Russ Melling, Joel, Joel Penner, right. and Rod McGrath. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're spring bear hunting. Yeah. And this week, you don't want to miss the lucky logo because it's 10 point crossbow. 10 point. Someone's going to win a 10 point crossbow. A crossbow. How cool is that? That's a huge prize. And when you prize. see it at the end of the show, we'll tell you what you need to do with it and, and see who's going to get something fun from 10 point. Yes. 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 You well, know what we, it is. We, is. I know. It's a 10 point. It's a crossbow. Hello. Yes. Oh, I'm, I can't concentrate and do this at the same time as I'm playing this, okay? Do you mind? Okay, anyways, let's just start the footage, shall we? Why don't you go out and see the dishwasher well, or something like that? No, let's just talk about Russ and his Mary Kay van. Oh, Russ. Russ picked us up in a Mary Kay van. There goes his image. Russ, what were you thinking? <laughs> That's close enough. Is there any glare? <laughs> it's like looking in a mirror, eh, Ralph? Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you ride oh, sorry. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this, is, this is Adrenaline Outfitters. It's a manly type of camp here. And when you see what they pick up their hunters with, you'll understand what we're, where we're coming from. Why don't you skip to get it? Come on, please skip, just a little bit. We want to see a little skip. The Manitoba hustle. Come on. Here is the, the van that Adrenaline Outfitters picks you up. Russ, how are you, buddy? What's happening? Here, can we open the door for you? Can I take can, your bag? Can I show you something here? Yeah, yeah. Mary Kay, enriching women's lives. Let's check, oh, is this the cosmetic case? <laughs> Do you have your makeup in there? Russ. I just can't, I'm so excited to be hunting with you. I don't care, I'm just so, A, I'm so happy. Hey, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, Russ, come here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just gotta laugh, I gotta get my glasses. Well, it's the first day out here with Adrenaline Outfitters. Are you pumped? I am pumped. Vicky is actually being filmed by Kenneth for She's Safari. Yeah, their new show. Beyond the Lodge? Beyond the Lodge. Mm-hmm. And I'm left like in the dark. I mean, no yeah, one cares Ralph about Ralph. It. Yeah, I have my own camera guy this year. Oh, and I have nobody. Open. You have nobody. I'm like, Ralph Dirt. But I understand that they have no blondes for you to shoot either, so it's okay this year. There's no reason for that. In fact, you know what? You probably should just take home the fire deck. My best in my backpack. Oh, you're going to talk to me now? <laughs> I'm chopped liver on this trip. No, you're not. See, if I go and I get a bear early, then I'll film you. <laughs> Again, I have to wait till the princess here. No, wait. Last week we were in Alberta, and who got a bear? Who hunted first? You make opportunities. You just go after them. You get aggressive, and you say, I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm going to do it. Oh. <laughs> Another one to the right, to the There's nothing there. Mr. You don't want to go anywhere, because when we come back, you get to see Ralph. Cheat at bear hunting because he's in this big condo. What do you mean cheat? I was field testing the new Ameristep Condo Ultimate Blind. And if you guys like this design, let us know. Call Ameristep and maybe we'll start making some more. You're so full of baloney. Don't go any. We'll be right back. You just missed another one, Vic. Did you not. might as well quit. I'm looking for the big bear. Man, if we were relying on you, there'd be nothing. The freezer would be empty. Welcome back. Welcome back to Choice. Now, we're going to go ahead and join 
Ralph in his condo. No, it's it, Vicky. Get it straight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, a Maristep Ultimate Condo Blind, but it's a design. We're, we're t I'm testing it. I'm testing. I was out field your testing. Stand on the dangerous game. You, you missed again. No, I'm looking. You're missing Vic. Come on. There's you got all these there. tags okay, to fill. Fill something, anywhere. would you? There's one right there. there. Ooh. Again. Oh, there's another hunter in a tree stand. Public land. What are you uh -oh. going to do? Explain this to me, Russ. How come they get a condo and I get the tree stand? Way to treat a lady. I know that it was probably a little lower than I wanted to see it. But, I mean, we complete pasture. It's doing everything we needed it to do. That Spitfire cuts an inch and a half cutting diameter. He's down. We are not going to push anything. We're going to get out. We got about a quarter of a mile we walked. We're going to get out come back in the morning and check this boy out. Time for Thermosel's tip of the week. Get out of here, Skeeters. This week's tip, we're gonna talk about preventing blisters from forming on your feet. Blisters form from a combination of moisture and friction that happens between your feet, your socks, and your boots. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do, like we said last week for proper boot fit, is make sure your boots are well broken. Take a couple months to wear them around the house, doing yard work and doing all kinds of stuff around the house. Get those boots good and broken. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is properly layer your socks. You're gonna to to start with a layer of polyester, moisture wicking socks to go underneath your heavy wool socks. This is again gonna prevent any moisture from forming on your feet. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is what they call protective barriers. And this can range from anything from band-aids and bandages to cloth sports tape, a good heavy cloth sports tape, or manufactured mole hair that's sticky on the back. You can cut that to fit and place that on strategic points in your feet to help prevent blisters. The other thing you can do is use a simple antiperspirant or deodorant to put on your feet. Again, that's gonna help you prevent any moisture from forming on your feet. And what's nice about that is, is you can actually cover your whole foot with the antiperspirant. That is your Thermosel tip of the week. Well, we got a major storm, major front moved in. It's pouring rain. Um, we're just gonna, I don't care what anybody says, you, you know, when, when you shoot an animal, and then you wait, and you don't sleep at night, and you, 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 you're pretty sure it's a great shot, but it, it, it's different until you have your hands on that animal. And then you wake up early, and you come out here, and it's pouring rain, and you just, gut sinks, you know what I mean? Your heart goes down. Well, what we're gonna do, obviously another bear's been back. And the stealth cams from last night, now we got nine, so I'm just gonna turn it off. We got our SD card in there. Look at this one. JR had his stealth cam up there. Can you see it? We got a bucket head! Adrenaline Outfitters, what can you say? This monster walked in. We were in the ultimate, and I mean the ultimate condo stand. 
without a shadow of a doubt, was the most unique bear hunting situation I've ever been in. Rod and I were up there taking naps, <laughs> not together, and uh, this guy came in and you talk about a magnificent animal. Congratulations, Ralph. And Thank you, Vic. Big bear. Big, double he big. He was, it's about time you shoot a big bear. It is. Now you don't want to go anywhere because when we come back from commercial break, it's my turn to go bear hunting. My turn. It's my turn. It's yeah. my turn. Okay, just, oh, oh, oh. oh, there. Okay, now press the other button. No, keep it in the dark. I, Welcome back to Choice. I'm now let's get in into the dark my, with you. No, get, you're not hitting, you're not understanding what I'm saying. No, let's get into my hunt. Watch, go in the dark and now hit the other button that's on this nunchuck. What's a nunchuck? This is a nunchuck. Where's RJ? <laughs> we sat here yesterday afternoon. We had overcast skies. It got sunny for half a second and we got clouds again. Today it's definitely windier. We're going back to the same stand. We saw two different bears last night. And I probably made a mistake. I probably should have shot that first big chocolate that had come in. And I'm hoping he comes back. And if he doesn't come back, I hope that maybe his granddaddy comes back. You missed him, Vic. Well, hey, you know, I just thought of something. What? If we get to Kenneth to film you more, mm -hmm. it'd give me more time to hunt. Sweet. Kenny, you're hired. Anyways, we got Joel here from Adrenaline Outfitters. We're gonna go get my bear. It's ringing out now, obviously, as you can tell. We got Steve, one of the other hunters in camp is with us, and Joel is gonna make his own trail to that bear so we don't have to try dragging him out exactly. of here. Exactly, got the old bike, so if it breaks, that's okay. We just leave it out here? Yes. Oh, okay, well, they like seats, so. <laughs> they do. All right, well, okay, let's go. I know my stand's right there at that big spruce tree, so we just gotta wiggle your bike in there. And yeah. Okay, let's go. All right. Well, as you can see, he didn't go far. He's kind of wet now. Looked a little He's more fluffy last night. Yeah. I honestly thought I missed him at first. Look at that. Beautiful wet bear. Oh, is he wet? He is soaking wet. Look at that. Nice. Soaking nice. wet bear. Look at Beautiful bear, though. Nice crease in its head. Yeah. It's a good bear, huh? That's a nice bear. Nicely done. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, Vicki. Yes, Congratulations. Sir. Thank you. You know, and Kenneth, thanks for filming. But I got a question. How come, like, all your bears just go, like, five feet and just drop? Because I scared them. You, I thought I missed. You, I totally thought I missed, so I grabbed another arrow, and I knock it, and I look at Kenneth, and I told him, like, I missed. And he goes, boop, boop, boop. Did you hear? She, she probably did miss. The bear just I didn't miss. had a heart attack. I just scared him. He scared, scared me. Him. You scared he him. He scared me. Hey, when we come back. The Waz and the Big Tony Yo. from Ohio, our posse guys, are heading to the northern camp of Adrenaline Outfitters. And, well, we'll see what happens there. Yeah, that's right. Don't Maybe they anywhere. could scare a couple, too.
You missed. Welcome back. Again. Welcome back. What are you going to okay. do? Who's up next? Can I, can I shoot? No, you can't, technically. Who's up next? Tony Waz? You ready to go? Should we watch them hunt? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Maybe they could scare a bear and, like, pass out just like yours did. Oh, quiet. Well, this is the last day of our five-day hunt with Adrenaline Outfitters here in Manitoba, Canada. It's been uh, a great week. I can't believe how fast it went. You know, the action started out slow this week. The weather was hot, but uh, the last couple nights it really picked up. It got cool, you know, cloudy. Actually, it was cloudy and rainy all day today. It got a little sunny now. But they're calling for uh, dark and possible rain this afternoon. So uh, we're ready to go. Um, bugs are bad as always, but hey, that's bear hunting. Booyah! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> Bring it. That's what he did. Nice job. Thank you. Thanks, Ralph and Becky. This is phenomenal. I'll never forget this. Well, it's June 13th, actually Friday the 13th. We're up here in northern Manitoba with Adrenaline Outfitters. We actually had this bear come in last night. My cameraman, Tony, here decided to pass on it. He was a hunter last night and decided to pass. It was soaking wet. The bear wasn't, uh, just wasn't sure it was a shooter, but after reviewing the footage and with a dry bear this evening, I decided to take him. Uh, he piled up about 18 yards. That 10-point cross, we really did a number on him. Uh, you know, caught him right behind the shoulder. Um, but our guide Randy here just did, has done a great job for us. Um, worked his butt off. The, bait, the, the bears weren't cooperating, but uh, you know I appreciate all that you did to try to put us on bears. You, you really worked hard for us, and you know, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. It's a pleasure to work with guys like you too, especially when you can make shots like this. Hey, Tony Waz, congratulations. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah, persistence pays off with those guys. Yeah, you're not kidding. I didn't see any turkey uh, necklace, though, on Waz. But anyways, no, he wasn't wearing hey, his necklace. we want to thank you guys for watching this week's show at Adrenaline Outfitters. And we know that this yeah. spring, 09. If you tell them, if you call Adrenaline Up and you say, hey, I just saw the show, they got some smoking deals for all of our viewers. They do, so give them a holler. And if you happen to see the 10 Point Lucky logo, you need to log on to choicetv.com. Fill out some information, and um, someone's going to win a 10-point crossbow. Hello? Anyways, we'd like to thank you for watching, and we want to thank Joel and Russ and Rod and all them up at Adrenaline Outfitters for everything that they do for us, and congratulations again on your big bear. Yeah, Hello. Bear. Hello. I'm Hello. I'm Hello. all cunning right now. We'd like to thank you for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Now stop uh, playing. Oh, oh you yeah, we'll can right by now. By now.